Let me add a Q&A table to this document. And we will say um, citizen is the applicant a citizen? Uh, I'll make that a yes or a no answer. And uh, add another row. Oops, wrong button. And let's say spouse. Name of spouse. And that'll just be a plain text type answer. And then our form is going to say, I am or am not a US citizen. Uh, actually, we should make it related to the spouse. My spouse is or is not a US citizen. And I'm going to say, is the spouse a citizen here? That way I can get a nested condition. Uh, my spouse, and I'm going to put in the spouse's name, field spouse. My spouse is or is not a, a U.S. citizen. So here, this is going to be a nested condition. I want is or is not to appear, depending on whether or not the spouse is a citizen. So I'll select is and make that a condition for when the citizen answer is yes and is not a condition for when the spouse answer, oh, sorry, for when the citizen answer is no. But then I also want this whole sentence to appear only when there is a spouse. So if the spouse answer is not empty, done. Okay, there's three conditions in this sentence, two of them nest nested inside another one. And remember I said sometimes it gets complicated to figure out where one starts and the next begins. These closing marks here, it's not obvious what they relate to. Here I've got there, there, and there. So when you're confused, select the starting code, put your cursor anywhere in the starting code, click the condition button, and that will select the whole condition for you. That tells you that all of this text is going to be removed unless the spouse is not equal to empty. And here, if I click condition, that tells me that this condition is very small. It's just this one word that's going to appear if the citizen is equal to yes.